Hi everyone and welcome to Albert's Voice Solar Everything Else. So today I've been working uh, very hard <laughs> trying to get uh, the, the, the new solar panel installed in one of the rooms in my house. I'm doing it from the inside out because these windows in the front become like a solar window. It's really bright. It's so bright that I have to really have double shading here to keep the sun from coming in. It's really bright, but this is the best place to put it. That's why my neighbor across the street got, you can see he got his solar panels right there. And he got, I think he got three sided. And some more on the other side too. But anyway, uh, besides that now. So right now the primary focus is to get the Gold Power Plus charge. I have ordered another cable. It's on its way. Of course I can make the cables, but uh, no, you have to, yeah, eventually I will. No, it's not hard to do. I yeah, just have to get the tool and the, the connectors. But, they, uh, but anyway, right now uh, I modified the cable that I had received. I, um, I started the, the ends and then shrink wrapped them. And I made some sense. This this cable I had to double reverse it for some reason. Anyway, um, everything right now is working. When I unplug this, it'll say uh, 18.9 volts. Something hit 19 volts. So when I plugged it in, now I'm getting a stable uh, 10 reading. I uh, do. I don't know why. It, uh, I don't know if it's a camera. I tried to change the frames per minute. It didn't help. But it's charging now. It's that's 10. That's 10 volts from the um, from the night from the eight. So it's down by eh, by eight, eight point eight point nine down. Now there's a device. I have it. Now I have to build it. I have to uh, finish working on it. That will increase that back up to 15 and keep it at a steady 15. So, um, but unfortunately. You know, uh, that's, that will be another video, and you'll get to see that. Uh, uh, but anyway, getting 10 volts, it's charging. That's the main thing. I'd like to charge two of them at the same time. I have to wait until I get some more parts coming in, and I'll have to charge two at the same time. Uh, okay, well, let me give you a little lesson with um, <laughs> solar power. Okay, that's the uh, panel up there, by the way. Okay, so if you have 100 watts, you're going to get 60. If you have 80 watt panel, you're going to get, uh, you should get at least 50. Oh, 55. You know, it depends on the panel. Um, if you have 60, like in my case, I'm getting, I have tested out with the multi-tester, I'm getting 46. 46.9, almost 47. It's not bad, though, from a 60. Uh, watt panel, uh, and then inside the vehicle, at my 55 watt, I'm getting 45 out of that. I think it's 45.6. Okay, so as you work your way down, you see where we are at. Those that got those um, Harbor Freight um, panels, the 13 watts, you're looking at like what 6. 6.5. If you get that, that's you know you're gonna get about half or less, you know. You should hook up to a multi-test and see what you're really getting. You know, you know it's a shame. They should have made that 20, 20 watts. But even 20 watts, you know, if you're going to discharge this, that's all it's going to do. You can't really hook up too many things to it. You know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to trickle charge. It's going to take a long time. Even when, I, this is good because other brands similar to this, same specs too, by the way, they recommend 50 or 60 you could, or, you know, like in this case, you can go up to 120. I wouldn't go beyond that with, for these. So, we got a, a human walking by. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's all I can really recommend. So, right now, so if, um, you know, if you get ready, get the 13, you know, I know if you get another 13, they make it uh, 26, and I'll make it, uh, you know, you can do your man. Then you'll get like, you're close to what you originally wanted to do, 13, like almost 13, 14. You have to, you know, just figure it out. But, um, <laughs> it's like a live show, yeah. Um, it is a live show. But, um, yeah, I just want to give you a little heads up about that stuff because, um, 
I don't, you know, because um, I think Harbor Freight, you know, they do charge a lot. You know, you know, you can put that money to one side. Uh, if you get the um, the portable panels, I I had I tried, actually I tried one. I wasn't too impressed with it. Uh, I was trying to use it in the car, trying to use it in the side panels. I, I put it on top of the the back hatch door, oh well, actually the cargo door. And it, it did charge, but it's it's slow. So you're looking at that. What are you looking at? Well, uh, because the 20 watt will give you like 10 watt, and 30 watt you're gonna get like 17, maybe 20. You know, it depends. You know, no, no, you get no. I took that back. You get 15 between 15 and 17 with 30. Yeah. So that is. Okay, so here now we're getting 10 volts going in from a uh, uh, an 18 volt panel. So that's it. But I wanted I wanted at least 15 volts straight, so that's what I'm working on. But um, and then um, any other panels like you know uh, you know you just work your math you know you know the wattage. Okay, so that's about it. Um, you guys have any questions? Let's see if this is getting hot. So right now, that one's com that one is um it didn't have any um didn't have any bars. It just had the picture of the um, battery, so not completely dead. This one is doing heavy duty. Well, this one I was using it for solder. <laughs> I was soldering with a sixty watt solder gun. Then I had these two bright lights on. But the temperature on that was rising because as the solder gun got hotter and you know, like that. So, yeah. so at least we know we can use solder. We can actually use it for projects. Well, hey, if the power goes up, you know, you can keep yourself busy. <laughs> All right, this is a short video. I just uh, just want to run down. The next video we're gonna I'm gonna open up the emergency pack. I know that is a power bank in that um, the go the go power power bank. Actually, it's, what's it called? It's called a yeah go power emergency jump okay or, the, or actually the power bank i had showed it in the first featured video i haven't taken it out of the pack but that's actually another bank power bank in there so i'm gonna try to cover that as well but this is just a video to show you that the modification now when i unplug this i can take that off and stick it on that that's the goal <laughs> right now that's hold on by velcro by the way um uh, a little rubbing alcohol in the back of it stick right there so I'll just have I need to take it off now there'll be a velcro in there it's easier and then I'll leave it up there too so it'll I'll know um that's on I like to get um I want to get another meter that's um that tells you the amperage the full watts and what I do that's uh that's the next one to get I think that one I have to have a special kind of um um uh, I forget what it's called. It's a metal clamp. You have to hook it up for it. Uh, I have to get that. I'm gonna get that as well because I saw some panels uh, when I was researching panels. I saw some panels have one built in, so you know it'd be nice to have that feature and get to know exactly how much um, you know how much power is it drawing and when you plug it into this. So we, well, at least we know what we're getting here. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. That's it. Thanks for watching and guys don't forget to subscribe guys and girls i know because it says both, both you know you got girls and guys watching this so you know don't forget to subscribe and you know thumbs up if you like the video and you know hey i'll make more videos and you know we keep working and you know as newer products come out you know you know I'll grab some um yeah and eventually I this whole place will be full of panels <laughs> little by little you know, because they're not cheap. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, this one costs a dollar more than the other one, but they raised the other one in my vehicle because the other one came directly from, um, this is the same product. This is a Lens Sun. I'm, I'm not sponsoring them, but to me, the specs work pretty good. They have a, um, another model. They have a few models. There's another higher higher end models with you know because um, the other panels. This is twelve watt, so twelve watt panel. But you have, um, excuse me, 
12 volt to 18 volts. You have higher, you can go. They have higher ultra panels. They run 300 and up. I was uh, that on Amazon there. I was looking at those. I'm yeah, so, but that's, you know, getting really serious, you know, and, you know, into the 20 volt volt and into the 36 volt and the 48 volt, you're getting, you're getting really serious into the paneling. So, you know, you got these better equipment. So, but, hey, this is, right now, this is, a lot of us are here to try to, you know, save money and, you know, dabble into the solar panel, you know, try to get off the grid, you know, and I, you know, I, I I started off the grid with the cable company. I, I built my own system for antenna. It's on the side of the house. Uh, uh, dual antenna, one going south and one going north. So I get, I get two markets. You know, I get. It. We're supposed to get 137 channels here, and 4Ks here. They're broadcasting here, and I have um, I have every room, eight TVs, eight high definition TVs. I have like a drop distributor amp it's in a modified um it's like a i have my own cable company box out there but it's mine i i bought that but it's modified and that's and everything's rigged into that and um, i disconnect all their wires and put it in mine the heck all i get from them is internet <laughs> so i'm on so i i have high definition tv my pictures are clear in every room and i get 5.1 um to audio uh, adobe um Digital, so yeah, so I'm off the grid for a long time. Now it's just to add solar, and uh, I want to hook up um, an RV uh, cell antenna out there too, so I can have stronger cell cell you know cell phone 